I'm yeah. saying that this is the conclusion of their philosophy, right? Okay. So it's like a Muslim saying, Christians believe in free gods. Obviously, we don't believe in free gods, but they're just trying to say that what you believe entails that there's free gods. Now, obviously, that's not true, but that's what they're trying to argue. What I'm trying to argue is that this set of beliefs leads to the belief that God is composed of parts, right? That's what I'm saying. And the fact of the matter is, is that Sunni theologians and scholars do teach that there's a real distinction between Allah's attributes and that's all you need to be able to say this belief leads to God being made up of parts. But is this not a specifically Muslim problem? Like you 